Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's spring at last and I'm so excited though the weather is not so good yet but still I decided just to spend more time outside and I also decided to make the challenge for myself this week just to get out of the house, get away from my computer and just to go out and experience life and to draw from life. And so I'm gonna be doing three days of drawing from life and it's not important for how long I'm gonna do this. The most important thing for me is just to make myself to go outside and draw and I'm gonna film my emotions and feelings about it and I'm gonna share it all with you. So let's get started. So I started with thinking about what environment exactly I want to observe and draw. That's a great spot in my city. The place we're here now is the place called Swan Lake, Lebedinka <laughs> in Rivne city, Ukraine. In spring, not so many people here. It's one of my actually favorite places to come and enjoy the nature. So I want to share it with you. Look how beautiful it's here and peaceful. I want to draw nature today. So hopefully I can draw something good. If not, at least I got out of the house and had a good time because it's a really great day today. just to go and sit in a coffee shop and uh, to just to sketch something so I want to draw people today so let's get started about drawing from life so when you start drawing like for example today I'm gonna draw people so when you start your drawing before that it's important just to sit and observe kind of like notice the energy of people like get the rhythm see are they moving are they walking are they running so and try to translate it onto the paper like all the details you can always come back and draw it later but for now it's important just to observe and kind of build your vision library so that you have this knowledge now you know how to do it The thing that I like about drawing and about being an artist is that you have so much fun when you learn things and uh, you know if you are a football player then football is fun for you if you are a swimmer then swimming is fun but for me drawing is fun and I can draw but I'm not a pro so sometimes I do bad work too I just try not to show it to anybody but still there are people in my life who come up to me and say that I'm doing drawings that are like very effortless and I have such a gift. But in fact it's not about gift but it's about the practice. Practice every day to make it seem like it's effortless, to make it seem like it's a gift. So basically you just need to keep going every day to get to that confidence. Hi everybody, so we 
are at the zoo today because I wanted to draw some animals. So it's gonna be interesting day. So let's get started. about making your drawing from life really good. Like I told you yesterday, when you start drawing, try to just sit and look, just observe the animals, the characters, all the details and stuff that all can come later. But at the very beginning, it's very important just to get the gesture, get the character, finding the spirit. So it's not copying that's gonna make your drawing really good. It's finding the spirit and life. It doesn't have to look exactly the same, but your drawing has to have life in it. drawing from life and I'm really excited that I finally did it I have been drawing every single day and I have three lessons that I've learned from this experience from this challenge that I want to share with you so let's get started first thing that I've realized from this experience from drawing from life is that this problem that I was talking about. It was not easy for me just to make myself to go outside and draw because you know I had so many excuses. I had to do this and that and we all know those people, well I'm actually one of those people who just can't raise their heads up from their computers, from their phones even and there are many people who just don't go and don't experience their lives. So I think the most important thing that I've learned is just the importance of just getting outside, just get away from your computer, get away from your studio, get away from your house and just to go and experience life. That's the best thing that you can do for your art. And I think that the drawing is a good method for exploring your world, but you actually have to get out in your world and to really explore it. So the second thing that I've learned from this experience is that I still have days when I can't draw. So I just, nothing just comes into my head and I can do nothing about it. All I can do about it is just to not to give up. So the most important thing is just to not to quit your drawing, not to walk away from your drawing, but just to keep pushing through it. And you gotta do it because you love it. And the third thing that I've learned from this challenge that I've made is that drawing is good no matter how you get it done. Well, you can be drawing from photos or you can draw from like internet, from pictures from internet, whatever. As long as your pencil is touching the paper, you're getting better, you're improving yourself. But there's nothing like getting outside and drawing from life. That's I know for sure now. So those are three things that I've learned from this experience, from this challenge. And I'm gonna for sure continue doing it. I'm gonna just try to make myself to go outside and draw. And I'm gonna also look for new environments and for new experiences and I hope that you will too. So I hope that you found this video useful for you and thanks for watching and I'm gonna see you next week. Bye!